An approach described as measured and scientific, the plan to reopen the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Science and data may be forging decisions, but heightened emotions and financial hardship are driving workers and businesses who want to reveal their open signs to the public again. Southwestern Pennsylvania has so much at stake in a decision expected tomorrow. We're looking to save people's lives. We're looking to keep people safe. And if you're in a county uh, that uh, uh, is ready to open uh, and go to the yellow zone, uh, and we're convinced that, that in doing that, you're still uh, a very good chance of keeping people safe, uh, we will be uh, moving to open you up, get, get you to the yellow zone as quickly as possible. The first wave starts tomorrow. 24 counties in the rural north shift from red to yellow. The health department acknowledging that the state is accomplishing the goal of flattening the curve. We were successful in doing that. Uh, the, the, we did not overwhelm our health care system. Uh, but we have to be careful in the future because COVID-19 is not gone from Pennsylvania um, and, and can resurge again. And is still very prevalent, unfortunately, in the southeast and the northeast. The governor said earlier this week that the southwest is doing a great job with the hope of moving into the yellow phase, quote, fairly quickly. And of course, the state does continue to work with Carnegie Mellon University on that data gathering. The governor has not released an exact time for his planned announcement tomorrow. Kim Gable, KDKA News.